Hi there, nice to see you again. Today I want to talk about Keyclock events logging and I hope you're all set, already have a coffee of your choice and now let's start. So I have uh, already running a default Keyclock server, nothing special, created a demo realm with a user already. And um, yeah, when talking about events, I'm talking about the login events and the admin events. Uh, I won't uh, explain these events in detail because I think you know these de uh, events already. Um, you have the login and logout events in case of, of user or client um, authentications and the admin events of uh, everything um, you do via the admin console or admin API. Yeah. At the configuration tab, um, you see the um, event listeners and you have this default log Chabos logging event listener. And this default um, event listener already prints the um, events to the uh, log output, uh, but perhaps you won't see it because um, the only the arrow events will be printed uh, on warned level to the log output and the root level of um, the logging is set to info so that the successful um, events which are printed with uh, on, on, on level one no not not one on level um, debug won't occur in the log so we have to change this and there are two ways to achieve this and uh, i will show you today both ways uh, how you can achieve this and um, I already uh, wrote a blog post about this and I put the link to the blog post in the video description so you can uh, reread every, th every time uh, about this. So um, yeah let's uh, have a look into the events first when signing in uh, with a user with the wrong password uh, you know this you have an invalid username and password and there is the uh, the login error event in the lock and when uh, successfully um, logging in everything works but there's no um, successful event type here so to cha uh, change this we have to stop um, the the server and uh, I'm using docker and docker compose just for my convenience um, and uh, this is the docker compose file I'm using and um, there's the possibility uh, with the keycloak uh, docker image to put some chaebos CLI files or uh, bash scripts shell files into the ops chaebos startup scripts folder and uh, all the scripts located in this folder will be executed when the container starts up the first time so we will create a logging cli file in this um, startup scripts folder which is mapped to the, the server uh, and uh, let's start an embedded server change the config standalone xml and um, then afterwards we are stopping again the embedded server and uh, what we are doing here is modifying the logging subsystem adding a, a new logger of type uh, of category arc events keyclock no arc keyclock events at level debug so that all the um, events also on level debug will be printed out to the, the log output um, what will uh, do this um, we have the logging subsystem in the standalone xml file this is just for a demo just for showing you what will be done uh, under the hood this standalone xml file uh, won't be mapped to the server this is just for for showing you here we have already already the the root logger and the root logger will be uh, logging at info level if you don't change it and we have a category org key clock and everything on org key clock will be locked on info level and um, the script this um, cli script will just add another um, logger at uh, this place or around this place with uh, org key cloak events just closing the tag again and uh, we will have a level name uh, debug 
So that is it. this is what uh, the CLI script will do in our standalone XML file when uh, powering up the server. And yes, I will uh, power up the server again. We'll have to wait a few seconds uh, while we're doing this. Um, yeah, that's um, the place where the uh, startup scripts have to be located. This is also uh, uh, described in the in the, the readme of this of the official Keycloak uh, Docker image. And here I'm using also the standalone XML file because I don't use a cluster. I don't use I don't need the the standalone HA XML file. And of course, never use uh, admin admin as in your production environment. This is just for demo purposes. So um, our server is uh, starting initializing master realm, and it's uh, now it's there, and we can um, start again with a new fresh server. Our demo realm won't be there anymore because uh, I destroyed the whole um, container and I don't use an external database. I just use the built-in uh, H2 file-based database. So we have only the master realm, but um, we are already now can see um, that the logging um, of the events works because we have the login event to the master realm and the code to token event of the um, authentication already logged to the log output on level debug. So we have the org key clock events on level debug to the log output. So now you can uh, forward all the logs to your desired um, log aggregator like um, elastic search or whatever you're using for log aggregation and log evaluation and do whatever you want with the data and of course still um, also the the error events will be locked um, of all realms i will um, recreate the demo realm and will recreate um, a user that's my test user. Just have to set the credentials. And if we then look to the uh, account application um, with the new user, successfully logging in, have a look to the, um, the log file. We have the login realm demo and the username does Nico, of course, and we can log out and there's a log out event. So we can track the user actually. And of course, all the um, error events are still there. So we have login error. The user does Nico um, used a wrong password, invalid user credentials. This is still there. So this hasn't changed. Just the success events will be logged um, with debug to the log output. This is uh, one uh, option to do this. And we have another uh, possibility. I will show you now. First, I will again destroy all this uh, key clock um, container and uh, switch back to the configuration, the logging CLI. So we don't need this anymore. Um, I prepared the relevant things here. Uh, we now add to the Keycloak server subsystem uh, the configuration of the event listener SPI um, and set it to uh, or add a tables logging provider. That's the default provider we already saw in the um, admin console. Um, and setting some properties, the success level, we're now setting to info and the error level uh, we set to warn uh, or just use the defaults. A warn level is uh, the default and for the success level, which was previously um, on debug level, we're now setting to info level. So we don't need to change um, the logging subsystem. We just um, 
change the key clock server. So what will um, be done here? So we will delete this again and just look for the key clock server subsystem. There's already some SPI configuration. Um, there's an event store where you can store the events in the database, what's possible. And uh, our CLI script will add an SPI node like this. I have to format it. An events listener, the JBoss logging, success level on info, error level on warn. Yeah, that's what um, our CLI script will do when powering up the server. What we're doing now, um, Docker compose up and uh, the container will be created. We'll see in here executing CLI script at container startup. This will take again some uh, seconds and uh, switching back here, going to the root, waiting until the server started up. Every time we wait on the server, this takes longer than expected, of course, but it should be finished in a few moments. Yeah, here it is. Admin console is listening. Everything's good. We're going to the console, logging in with our admin credentials and um, have a look to the log output again and we'll see, hey, we have the login event on info level now and also the code to token event also on info level no more on debug level but on info level and will, will be um, printed per default to the log output just um, by setting these properties don't changing the logging output so again i put the link to the blog post about these um, changes to the video description that's it i hope you liked my video don't forget to give me some thumbs up and if there's anything you want to know around keycloak or i should do some video about it um, put it in the comments and don't forget to share this video and to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of the future recordings bye bye